Hello everybody, I'm Jims McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, Blood Bowl 2020 leaks continue on. We're looking at the Chaos Pack now called Chaos Renegades. Jim, uh, we, we went through this already with the, uh, the Old World Alliance team, uh, but now we're on the Chaos side of things, so you know that's going to be weird and filled with a lot of mutations and crazy crap. So walk us through the Chaos Renegade team, Jim. Yeah, um, it's weird. I, I think there's a mistake in the book because you've got Renegade Humans, Renegade Humans, and then Goblins, Orcs, Scave, and Dark Elves. The, the odd one out, if you like, races all have animosity to all teammates, but so does the renegade human thrower. Why on earth would he have animosity to the renegade human lineman? That doesn't make any sense, does it? So that's the first thing. <laughs> Second thing, um, if you're used to Pact, you'll see instantly that Pact have lost strength access as a primary, and they've lost uh, passing access even as a secondary. So that's why they brought in this thrower to replace that, so you can make the famous uh, Duke Luther von Hogfire. But um, he's, he's, he's terrible. He doesn't even have sure hands, and he only passes on the 3 plus, as opposed to, like, oh, actually, the Dark Elf is better than a Dark Elf lineman. He passes on a 3 plus rather than a 4 plus, and he's got mutations on normal. Uh, the Orc lineman has got mutations on normal, the Skaven's got mutations on normal, just the same as they did have. Uh, goblin. So yeah, so the thrower is absolutely unplayably bad and completely pointless currently. <laughs> um, they can have three big guys still, but they get an extra useless option in the Renegade Rat Ogre, which, ha because it has animal savagery, is absolutely terrible and completely untakeable unless you really, 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 really like Rat Ogres. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe we've seen the trolls, the ogres, and the uh, minotaur. Oh, this is a renegade troll, so it's Lona 4 plus. And just like they used to, they still take doubles for the mutations on their big guys. They don't have as good big guys as normal, K like Chaos Chosen. And they get 70k rerolls, and they, they get favoured of something, um, just like Chaos get. All right. Well, I, I'm I'm pretty intrigued by that Renegade Dark Elf. Seems like while the Human Thrower completely pointless, uh, pretty hard to add him to the roster for the exact same cost. You're getting the same passing ability, better agility, and uh, and uh, agility as a primary access. Uh, trading off the passing for a secondary access seems like that's just the auto include on this team to me. Uh, and the Renegade Human Thrower probably wouldn't even make the roster later on in the team's life. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely, because because the animosity, like, you know, people generally made Dark Elves as the uh, carriers in the in the old rules, but you could also make them as a sacker, you know, because with the mutations you could get, like, you know, very long legs and leap in combination right, with agility and mutations. Or you, and, you know, and you could have uh, two heads and stuff and, you know, give him ra Rackle and use him as a... Sack of people. People did that. Obviously, most people went like blood step show hands and made him a, but made him a carrier. But um, the thing with the thrower is, <laughs> yeah, the animosity makes him not even better at it. So, like some people would carry with a lineman, you know, wait till a lineman gets plus plus a v plus a g, and then use a lineman um, to to throw like to carry the ball. And now you still, I would rather have a human lineman, a renegade human lineman with sure hands. Than a, than a thrower. Because <laughs> he hasn't got yeah. animosity and he's got sure hands. Like Yeah, yeah. A human lineman could just pass the ball around to whoever he wants, even if it is, you know, a four plus as opposed to a three plus on a quick pass. But uh yeah, you can give him sure hands so you're not wasting T V on safe pair of hands, which is essentially a pointless skill. Yeah. Um and uh make a slightly worse uh, thrower, I still think I'd just ball carry on the Dark Elf, though, personally. Yeah, me too. I, I, I was always one for Dark Elf ball carrying, but some people some people wanted to make them... You know, they, if they rolled an edge on a lineman, they, they'd then make the lineman the ball carrier. Of course, that's not so good now, because it won't increase your passing ability as well. But but that's what some people did, and, and I was never one for the Saka Dark Elf. I always went carrier Dark Elf, because, you know, 
you have you can get blood easily, can't you? And then cut, run around with a ball with blood sure. is pretty nice. So, what is your starting team with uh, the Chaos Renegades? Yeah, the, the starting team is impacted a little bit. The starting team that I I would recommend in a league situation um, was copied from Wreckage on Fumble, who's wrote the Thousand Losses playbooks that people might have heard of. Um, maybe should have heard of because it, it got pretty good traction, didn't it? Um, he started with a Dark Elf, a Troll, nine linemen, a Goblin, an Apothecary, and four rerolls. But it's that's 10k more now because the Trolls 5k more and the, the Dark Elves 5k more. Um, and he didn't have a Skaven or an Orc. I would have an Orc now. There's, the Orc is pretty good there just to stick on the LOS, isn't he? So I would I would definitely have a Renegade Orc um, as well. But yeah, so you, you, you lose 10k off that. So, you know, you could maybe just drop the Apo and uh, get four, put 40, 40k into uh, dedicated fans. Or you could drop a reroll and drop the goblin and upgrade one of your linemen to an ogre, and that seems good to start with two big guys. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever use a minotaur ever personally, or a rat, rat ogre. Like definitely not a rat ogre, and uh, I'd, I'd wouldn't even like the mine. I mean, you can if you want, you know, to have a fun time with three big guys. It, it can be hard for people to deal with when they roll well, but if they don't roll well. It's a nightmare, whereas two of them gives you enough muscle to do something, um, you know, and cause problems without being massive, massive headache of the <laughs> unchanneled fury and bonehead and and uh, really stupid. Very good. Uh, so let me ask one last question, Jim. Which would you prefer here, the Chaos Renegades or the Old World Alliance, if you had to pick one of the two hybrid combo teams? Oh, God. That's a good question. That's a good question, Gorilla. I wish I'd thought of that. I wish you'd, wish you'd given me a heads up with that before we started the video. Um, I don't, I'd be inclined at first thought to say OWA, as, as bad as they are with all of them. It, it would depend on the format. There you go. It would depend on the format. I think the starting team, the OWA is definitely better, like a 1,000 TV. Um, depending, enough, yeah. depending on how redrafting, whether redrafting took place and how redrafting... Um, was structured i think that the chaos renegades could be actually a good team potentially even um speaking of the redrafting and that we will be doing a video on that soon so keep your eyes peeled for that i was just about to say jim taking the easy way out on the answer by just claiming redrafting <laughs> which has been a common thread with a lot of these teams it really depends on the format you're going to be in so as much as i'm making fun of them that's absolutely true in this case uh, but it's funny. It's really hard to commit to anything unless you know exactly what kind of format they're going to be playing in. Yeah. Uh, anything else from you, Jim, about the Chaos Renegades? Um, no, no, that's it. I think that's just a that's a, just a good point for Blood Bowl twenty twenty in general is is that the the meta game and everything and and what's best is going to vary massively on the actual format of the 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 league structure of the format you're in. All right. Well, thank you as always for having me. My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and this has been your coverage of the Chaos Renegade team in Blood Bowl 2020. Just leaked. You won't find it anywhere else on the internet. It's not possible. So <laughs> back to you, Jims, and we'll be back with more teams. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.